Good morning, ASFN. <laughs> Got you out of bed early again. I know, but it was very nice. I went to bed early because I had a massage and I was relaxed yesterday. So I got into bed at like 10 o'clock and it only took me like 10 minutes to fall asleep. So I had a good sleep. So I'm relaxed this morning. I must speak to Caroline this massage stuff. That's nonsense. I didn't get a massage. I must, I must speak to Caroline about a massage as well. <laughs> Inanda Dam was established in 1989 in the Mgeni River and is an earth full type dam with a depth up to 65 meters. The surface area of Inanda Dam is 1,463 hectares, almost a snake like dam bending through the hills. Okay, gents. Rob obviously got some inside info, he's not sharing with me. Well, he did. He did tell me that there's some fish bedding I'm buying in this area. And that's always exciting when the spawn starts. Very frustrating to get a bite. But stop. Oh, Mr. <laughs> referee. What happened there? It went the wrong way. And jerk bait is the right thing to be using here. Is it? Yeah. Rob did speak to some other anglers who fished prior that week, who gave him some information on certain areas closer to the river. And that's where we started. Considering the wind the day before, Durban Bay would have also been a good starting point. And all those southeast facing points on the main lake. Now the morning started off very slow, with almost no bites. In Nando's Rob's backyard, and he was the first to at least get some bites. Oh, that's a bit of a good start to the day. Bit of a kick in the face. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, we're on the board, people. We're on the board. Uh, Mojo rigged creature bait and uh, the sun is now warming us up nicely and hopefully we'll have an awesome day. The Suzuki was a pleasure as always and you hardly know about it because it runs so soft and smooth but something always worth mentioning is the quick hole shot. Getting the boat on plane has never been that fast. Okay guys, 
guys, now you've heard us raving about uh, the low rent spot lock on the Ghost. And uh, this is a, a prime example of that. Uh, there's a point coming out here. Okay, it's 25 foot that side. I didn't even check that side. The ridge is coming out here. We're standing on 12 foot. The wind's uh, pushing you a bit. So normally you'll be with your foot in the wind. It's dropped a bit now, but the wind was uh, pushing a bit harder than this just now. And you're on your foot trying to stay on the spot to work that ridge. Otherwise, most of the time, let's admit it, we're lazy. We just drift over it, have one of two cars, and you're too lazy to work yourself into the wind the whole time or back onto the spot. And that's what makes spot lock such a fantastic feature. All I did is, choop, you step on the anchor there, and it's done. And that holds you there, but you hardly know about it. You don't even hear it, and it will... <laughs> I almost want to say to the centimeter keep us exactly where I pushed uh, spot lock it keeps us there so it gives me enough time to actually work several casts on this ridge change bait and another thing I love about spot lock if you're on a spot you just hit it quickly and you can have lunch or something and not worry about the boat floating or drifting anyway it's it's really a must-have the thing is I must warn everybody if you use it once you can't go back because you can't fish without it so yeah the Lorraine spot lock 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 for that well done Lorraine's <laughs>ultimate fishing system from Lorraine's is definitely a worth mention. The ghost speaks for itself and now fishing without it would just be a great handicap. On tough days you really need to rely on your electronics to find those fish and having the Lorraine's ultimate fishing system on the boat gives us no excuses in not finding at least a couple of bites. The fishing was very slow regardless where we went and we ran into one of Rob's ex-boat partners that fished some tournaments with him. Even if you get no fish or no bites, it's still a day better spent in this beautiful surroundings and that anticipation of finding the bigger fish. We know this dam holds. Late in the day we made our way, according to the theory, to Durban Bay, where at least we got better bites. The day has been pretty cuck. I mean it's always nice to be out on the water, but the fishing's been really tough. I don't know if it's because the fish are bedding and or what's going on, but we've only had two fish. We lost a big one and we've had a couple of stinking dinks. But uh, the weather's been very kind to us. The wind has uh, held out. It's been really ple nice. To, always nice to be on the water, but definitely very tough fishing. My partner's got a bagel right now, so he's desperate to catch a fish. I'm relaxed because I'm in the lead, but I really would like it, uh, a fish over a kilo. That would be really nice. So we'll. Look at that. This is, uh, I don't know, but it could be a cormorant. They're known to, uh, to eat a lot of fish. Not our friends, because they fish better than us. But a 
account open. Finally, look at the time of the day. <laughs> but he went straight into the dusting. Caleb, thanks very much, guy. holds both some northern strain as well as Florida strain, in other words some hybrids, lots of bait fish and a variety of tilapia species and some very big carp. What we were after. <laughs> yes. Hello, everybody in ASFN country. <laughs> oh, he's a nice, nice looking she. What do you reckon? 1.6? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, one of the great challenges of fishing for bass is the ever changing patterns, influenced by seasons, weather patterns, pressure to name a few factors. And this is exactly the reason we keep on coming back and enjoy the sport so much. It's essential that you fish your favorite venues in all weather patterns and conditions, as well as seasons. Especially if your interest is to participate in competitions. You can never order the conditions in a competition. So getting to know your venues and all different scenarios will only be to your benefit. And I'm a firm believer that on those very slow days, your chances of getting that real big slab, that record fish, is just better. Well, we've had a, a pleasant day. Yeah, it was Tough. a pleasant day. Um, what was the score? Ah, oh, shush. Okay. <laughs> no, Rob, Rob did uh, four fish. Yeah. And one over a kilo as well. Oh. Um, I only got one dink just under a kilo. But it's still nice to be out in the water. Yeah, I know it was. It was awesome. But I think, I mean, I only got my first fish at two o'clock. Yeah. So the whole morning I told, clever this man. Yeah, I don't Not plan. clever, I think more lucky. <laughs> I wanted to fish in Durban Bay, but my partner wouldn't let me. That's not the truth, actually. He wanted to start there. That's where we got most of our fish today. Yeah. On a. Uh, 20 foot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was a good day. But it's three o'clock, the wind's starting to blow a bit, and I think it's time to uh, go and have a nice cold beer at home. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We've still got a bit of a drive. So I'll have it at home, like you said. And before anyone forgets, uh, the ghost spot lock in this wind is a winner winner chicken dinner. Oh, Best sure. ever. We can, yeah, I wanted to say let's demonstrate it, but. We did earlier. It's, uh, oh, it's yeah, really it's uh, something else that. 
But yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Fisher. And we're going to have to, you see, now I'm going to phone you two days. That's okay, I'm relaxed. <laughs> I'm retired. Every day is a Sunday for me. I can fish any day. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification button to get updates every time we upload a video. Thanks for watching. Another tough day on Inanda in the winter months, but really rewarding in its own way. We'll be back soon and try and fish this dam on a really regular basis to work through all weather conditions and seasons. We thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us. Like the video and hit that bell notification button to receive all notifications of new videos being uploaded. We'll see you soon and who knows, the next video might hold one of those tanks. Thank you.